Welcome to the Cisco Configuration Assistant 3.0 video series. In this video, you will learn about the benefits of a new feature in Cisco Configuration Assistant 3.0, the Static NAT Mappings feature. Additionally, we will demonstrate how you can configure the Static NAT Mappings feature as needed. Keep in mind that this feature is available on the Cisco Unified Communications 500 series when using the new Cisco Configuration Assistant 3.0. Static net mappings are used when businesses have IP addresses on their local network for servers that they may need to map to different WAN IP addresses. This could be very beneficial in case of web servers, mail servers, and DNS servers that reside internally but need outside access. Small businesses can use static NAT for up to five IP addresses, giving servers and with internal IP addresses a mapping to an external IP address. The feature of static NAT mappings can be set only when the WAN interface has a static IP address and a NAT pool is configured. Verify the WAN interface has a static IP address in the CCA under Routing, Internet Connection. The feature of static NAT mapping is enabled in CCA 3.0 under the Configure, Security, NAT. Click Create to create a NAT pool. Name the pool. Enter the IP address, or click the Specify Range of Addresses, and enter the range of IP addresses. The network address used in the NAT pool should be in the same subnet as that provided for the WAN interface. Click OK to save the configuration. To provision static NAT mapping, click the Create button. Choose All Ports, or specifically TCP or UDP. Map the internal IP address. Map the external IP address to one of the addresses from the NAT pool. Click OK to save the configuration. We hope you enjoyed this video training on the new features in CCA 3.0. For more information on this release, please go to www.cisco.com go config assist.